What's going on everybody out in YouTube land and welcome back to a new episode of GBA. In this video we are unboxing the April Video Games Monthly box. So yeah, for those of you who don't know, Video Games Monthly is a monthly subscription service that sends retro video games to your house. Um, they have an online database where you can enter in the games that you already have so you won't receive duplicates from this company. Um, you can also choose what systems you want games for. They have games for systems ranging from the Atari Age of Gaming all the way up to stuff like Wii U, PS3, and Xbox 360. So there's definitely a lot of variety that you can choose from. I personally get games for the Game Boy, the Super Nintendo, the Nintendo 64, and the Nintendo GameCube. So those are the uh, systems that I can receive games for. And like I said, this is definitely one of my favorite days of the month. I absolutely love Video Games Monthly. I highly recommend this to anybody out there who loves retro video gaming. Especially those of you like me that doesn't have a lot of, you know, retro video game stores close to their house. Basically, the only place I have to shop for video games is like GameStop and Walmart. So this is definitely a cool service to get. Also, I really like the surprise factor of this service. I like not knowing what I'm going to get every single month. It's kind of like getting a birthday present every month, is what I like to say. But yeah, Video Games Monthly is awesome. I get the 10 game box, but you can also get boxes that consist of 3 games, 4 games, 5 games, and like I said, 10 games. So there's a price point for everybody out there. So yeah, without further ado guys, let's go ahead and let's open this up and let's see what we got in the April Video Games Monthly. I also want to give a quick shout out to my subscribers and people who watch these videos. This is actually going to be my 100th episode of GBA. So, you know, I started this roughly eight months ago or so, and I just want to thank all of you guys for coming along with this on this ride with me. I've really enjoyed making these videos for everybody, and I love talking about video games, and I'm just so thankful that you guys stay and listen to me talk about stuff. But yeah, so 100 episodes, and let's keep on trucking along till the next 100. But yeah, back to April's Video Games Monthly. So, they always send it in this priority mail envelope, so once you cut that and you pull the box out, so now you got your boy Floyd right there on the cover. So basically, uh, Floyd is Video Games Monthly's mascot, um, so you know, on the front it says VideoGamesMonthly.com, that's where you can go to sign up for the service. They have their... Uh, like motto on the flap of the box and it says play the past into the future so yeah so let's go ahead and open this up I'm going to try to show you guys the games first like usual alright so first up let's try to get the cards out first Alright, so basically the first card we're going to look at is the basically like their business card thing. And this basically just tells you to share your uh, videos or your pictures on their Facebook page. And if you do that, you have an opportunity to win three free games in one of your future boxes. So that's pretty cool. And I always uh, suggest sharing your videos and pictures. It's fun getting that out there and letting everybody see what you receive. Because I really like seeing what everybody else got as well. Alright, so next up you have the card that basically is the thank you card from Video Games Monthly. And also this is a reminder to update your game library. Because the games that they don't, the games that they send you does not automatically update. So every time you get one of these boxes, you definitely need to update your game library. So that's what this card is. And last up, we have a 1-Up. So that's always fun. 1-Up uh, basically means instead of 10 games, I'm, I should have 11 games in this box. So I'm always down for an extra free game. Alright, so let's see what we got here. Oh, we've got our trinket, I think. So basically, the trinket this month, they always include like a little extra something. We've got a pack of um, Nintendo Tattoos. And this is obviously from back in the day, that's for sure. I've gotten a couple of these from Video Games Monthly. I haven't never opened them. I just have them stacked up in the background somewhere. But yeah, so that's pretty neat. Definitely a cool little add-in. 
All right, so this box is pretty full, so that's exciting. So let's start out here, and it feels like we've got a Super Nintendo game. I'll show you guys first. All right, so for Super Nintendo, we have Mario is Missing. So this is kind of like one of those educational uh, Mario games. I have never really played these games, so I'm not exactly sure what these are all about. I think the other one is Mario's Time Machine, if I remember correctly. But, you know, nonetheless, still happy to get it. And it's a, it's a Mario game, so what else is there to say? So, yeah, Mario is missing for the Super Nintendo. All right, so next up, we have another Super Nintendo game. Show you guys first. All right, so we have Super Bowling for the uh, Super Nintendo. You know, I mean, it's a bowling game. There's not much you can say about these, but I do like video game bowling uh, games quite a lot, especially ones on the arcade machine. It just depends on how this plays. I could like this a lot, but maybe I won't. If you guys have played Super Bowling, let me know down in the comments what you thought about this game. All right, next up, it feels like we've got a loose disc game. So we have Spawn Armageddon on the GameCube. So I don't know much about Spawn Armageddon for the GameCube. I've never played this. So once again, if you guys know much about this game, let me know down in the comments because it'll probably be a while before I can try these games. But yeah, you know, it kind of stinks to get loose disc games, but I always just pop them in a GameCube case, and print out the artwork. As long as it looks good on the shelf, that's all that matters to me. But yeah, Spawn Armageddon on the Nintendo GameCube. Alright, so next up feels like we've got a Nintendo 64 game. Show you guys first. Alright, so we have 007 The World Is Not Enough. So yeah, I, I'm pretty excited to get this. For one reason, I'm close to going over 200 Nintendo 64 games. And this is actually the gray cart too, so I think this one's actually a little bit harder to find than the blue cart. But, you know, here recently, this game has started skyrocketing a little bit on, in price. This game, I see it a lot of times going for 20 or more dollars, when this game used to be substantially cheaper than 007. But yeah, super happy to get this. 007, The World Is Not Enough, on Nintendo 64. Because now I don't have to buy it, right? So yeah, that's cool. One step closer to finishing the GameCube set. I mean the uh, Nintendo 64 set, sorry about that. Alright, so next up for Super Nintendo. Alright, so we have Turn and Burn No Fly Zone on Super Nintendo. Uh, probably some sort of uh, airplane, uh, you know, like flight simulator game is what I'm guessing because I've never actually heard of this. Pretty big fan of shooters, so if this was a shoot 'em up, I probably would know what it is. But yeah, turn and burn, no fly zone on Super Nintendo. Let me know if you guys played this because I have no idea how this is. All right, so next up. Feels like we've got another Nintendo 64 game. I'll show you guys first. Alright, so we have F1 Pole Position 64. You know, I could have swore I have this game, so I'll have to double check my collection and see if I, you know, have it checked off on the uh, website. But I think I have this, because um, I remember opening this up actually from this box. And I know somebody told me that this was a pretty fun game in that video. Um, and I actually played it, and it is a pretty fun game. It's basically a racing game. Not too much to say about it, but yeah, still happy to get it nonetheless. If I do have it, it can always be used as trade bait or whatnot. So F1 Pole Position 64 on the Nintendo 64. Alright, so next up... Feels like we've got a GameCube game. Show you guys. Alright, so for the GameCube, we have Prince of Persia, The Warrior Within. So, I'm pretty sure I've got the other Prince of Persia game on the GameCube. So, this 
should complete that subset. I think there's only two Prince of Persia games, I'm not sure. Um, I do enjoy these new Prince of Persia games, or newer, I guess you could call it, but I don't think I've played this one, so I'm definitely excited to pop this in and give it a try. Let's open it up and let's see if it's... Nope, not complete, so that's a little bit disappointing. But, you know, I don't need complete, but the cool thing is it does come in a real GameCube case. So yeah, the game, the real GameCube case, and the artwork. I'll take that any day of the week. So yeah, Prince of Persia, Warrior Within. I think we're down to handheld systems. Well, it's got to be Game Boy games, pretty much. So I've got some bubble wrap here. I'll throw that down to the side. So let's see what we got for the handheld games this month. All right, so for the Game, Go game Boy, I'll show you guys first. Alright, so we have Casper for the Game Boy. Yeah, I, I don't know anything about this. I've never played the Game Boy version of this game. To be honest with you, I did not play the Game, the game Boy a whole lot back in the day. But here recently, I've been getting into the handhelds really, really big time. So definitely happy to get this, and I'm definitely excited to give it a try and see if I like it. But yeah, Casper for the Game Boy. If you guys have played this, let me know how it is. All right, so next up on the Game Boy. So we have Jordan versus Bird one on one. So yeah, you know, I I think this is on NES if I remember correctly, but these basketball games from this era are never really too fun, but you know, I don't have it so happy to get it. So yeah, Jordan versus Bird on the Game Boy. All right, so next up, all right, so we have Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade for the Game Boy. So I don't have this one either, obviously, because I'm getting it, but I want to say I've got a game similar to this on the Nintendo NES as well that I'm not really fond of. So if this plays like the Nintendo games, let me know. Um, because I probably won't like it too much, but yeah, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade on the Game Boy. Alright, I think we're down to our last game, guys, but you know, all good things have to come to an end eventually, right? So, I'll show you guys first. So, are we going to end on a high note? Let's see. So, we have Battle Arena Toshin Den. So... This is definitely ending on a high note for me. I love fighting games, and I know a lot of people don't really like Battle Arena Toshinden, and it did not age well, you know, the PlayStation version or whatnot, but I'm excited to see how this plays on the Game Boy. Probably not very good, but I'm definitely happy to get it. So yeah, thank you so much, Video Games Monthly. I appreciate that. So yeah, Battle Arena Toshinden on the Game Boy. All right, so let's check... Yep, that's it. Nothing else in the box. So those are my 11 games I got this month. So basically, it looks like I got four Game Boy games, two GameCube games, two Nintendo 64 games, and two Super Nintendo games. So they definitely spread it out, so that's always cool. Because I like getting some of all the games that I signed up for. But yeah, so to me, do I like this box? Absolutely, I loved it. Let me know down in the comments what you guys thought about this box. What was your favorite game that I got? Um, so yeah, definitely. Just let me know what you guys thought. But um, I want to thank you so much for watching this episode of GBA. If you haven't, please like, comment, and subscribe. It would help me out tremendously growing this channel. Guys, if you know anybody who might like this kind of content, please share the video around. That's another way that you could help me out tremendously. But guys, I think I'm going to probably end this video. I'm going to go open up some more boxes. Maybe play some video games. Try to enjoy the rest of my evening. I hope you do too. So until next time, everyone, I'll see you later.